Toronto and John Hennessy of Rockwood. Robert McKenzie Jr. is the trainer. Richard Samard, Red Hot Richard gets the drive. He's a regular driver now at Rideau Carlton Raceway after a very successful stint at Windsor and Hazel Park. Richard Samard, the ultra aggressive, former winner of the Des Smith and the Frank Ryan, Knightswood from post position four. Number five is Admirals Express, a gray four-year-old son of Admirals Galley, owned by Gary Gust of Cedar Springs, Cheryl and Edward Safey of Rockford, and Laurel Gust of Cedar Springs. Mike Hales is the trainer. Pat Houdon gets the driving assignment. This one has a season's best time of 1.53 at Rideau Carlton. That's the fastest time at Rideau Carlton all summer long. The very handsome gray number five Admirals Express and Pat Houdon. Log Tech 6, four-year-old son of Log, owned by New World Stable of Troy, Ontario. Jared Bothwell is the trainer. The Magic Man, Mario Bayerjean. One of the best drivers in North America picks up the lines on Log Text. He's a winner this year in 153 and 1 over Mohawk, over 122,000 this year. Number six, Log Text from post six. And ladies and gentlemen, completing the field is number seven, Goliath Bayama. He's handicapped with post position eight. He's a four year old son of Abercrombie. Sylvain Filion driving for Bayama Farms Incorporated. Acury NDG of Broussard, Quebec. Luc Blay is the trainer. Goliath Bayama has a victory in 149 and 4 over the Meadowlands this year. He was second in the Meadowlands pace a year ago. Goliath Bayama, a very handsome son of Abercrombie, starts post 80s. Number seven, Goliath Bayama and Sylvain Filion complete the 1999, the year 2000 Des Smith Classic Field. The purse is $101,250. There's win play show classic on the wings into the back stretch. This field is now in motion, and there they go. They're off then, pacing from the far outside of the racetrack, uh, Admirals Express. Admirals Express going hard now for the lead. Down on the inside and quickly shutting that decision down is Red Bowtie. And Luke Willette pushes now hard for the lead, takes charge quickly after an eighth of the mile. Admirals Express caught on the outside now, looks for a spot as they make their way to the opening quarter. Down on the rim in third, off that turn is Noble Ability. Off the turn, and they move past that quarter with Red Bowtie length in front. 26 and 2, searing opening panel now as they move in front of the grandstand. Up front with the lead by a length and a half is Red Bowtie. Down on the inside, that is Noble Ability in the pocket. Admirals Express caught on the outside and left out third towards the rail in fourth as they head towards the half. That is Day in a Life. On the move now, starting at fifth on the outside is Goliath Bayama. He picks up cover as they move around that turn. Towards the inside, both sons made it in sixth. In uh, seventh at the rail, shuffled back is Log Tex. The half reached 54 and two fifths seconds to continue up the back stretch. Approaching three quarters and driving up on the outside. Now to challenge as they move down the back stretch. Part of the entry, day and a life clears by three parts of a length. Towards the rail, that is Red Boat Tie. And uh, locked in with nowhere to go. That's Noble Ability. In between pacers shaking loose. Both sons made us found some racing room. Three quarters. 122 flat on the final turn. Day in the life is open to two and a half lengths. Up in the far outside part of the entry, both sons mate trying to get there with them. Down on the inside, red boat tie clinging third. Up the rail in fourth, Noble Ability, and they straighten out for home. Through the lane. Day in the life opening up by four. Both sons made far outside. Red Bow Ties found a little bit more. The Catman sneaks through with noble ability. Here's the finish. Here's the wire. Day in a life. 149 and 4. Track record. Here they are. And four fifths. Records. that uh, were nailed to the rail, in my opinion. Uh, Pat Houdon, unfortunately, got the worst of it with Admirals Express caught on the outside. And uh, Luke Ouellette had to, had to use Red Bow Tie pretty hard to the half-mile pole. And uh, there were some fresh ones on the rail that uh, were sucking along and past the half in 54. I figured the track record was in jeopardy. But uh, a sparkling performance, 149 and 4, uh, something we only dreamed about. Uh, I didn't ever think we'd see a 149 and 4 mile. Uh, but it was brilliant. I just words can't describe this race tonight
Chris Christopher, who has won a lot of harness races in his life, but let's give him a round of applause for Day in a Life. 149 and 4 at Rito Carlton Raceway, a world record. Yes, and uh, Chris Christopher, who has won a lot of races in his lifetime, and uh, it's been a long time since I've seen him this excited. Uh, he made the, uh, the flight to Rito Carlton Raceway. It's his third winner of the night, but 149 and 4 is uh, something that he'll remember for a long, long time with Day in a Life. And uh, let's not forget to congratulate Mark Stacy. Mark Stacy is the, uh, the one that broke and trained this colt, and he made his first steps here at Rito Carlton Raceway. His first two lifetime races were here, and uh, it's great to see him with, win the Des Smith. Now returning in front of the grandstand, the world record holder for a 5 8 mile racetrack, Day in a Life. Owned by Perfect World Enterprises, Nat Vardy trains the son of life sign, life sign Chris Christopher, the winning driver tonight. It's the fourth trip to the winner's circle, the 19 starts the season for a Day in a Life, the mile and one, 49 and 4 fifths seconds. Once again, track record, world record performance on a 5 8 mile track this evening here at Rideau Carlton Raceway. And in the winner's circle, once again, making the presentation of the Des Smith Classic, the 19th. Des Smith Classic is Mrs. Eileen Smith, joined by Max Keeping. Once again, congratulations to the connections, the Perfect World Enterprises from Old Westbury, New York, and uh, Ontario Jockey Club trainer Nat Devardi, and of course, uh, a man that's held a hot hand for uh, over the last 24 months uh, throughout Canada, Jockey Club, Flamborough Downs, uh, south of the border, when he tra uh, makes his way down to New Jersey and the Meadowlands, and just about anywhere, Chris Christopher is making a name for himself in this sport, and congratulations. Uh, Greek Junior, way to go, and uh, come on back next year and see if you can do it again. John McMillan trackside with Chris Christopher. Chris, congratulations. What a brilliant mile. Thanks a lot. Yeah, he, uh, he just showed his class today. He raced super and, uh, you know, world record over uh, Rito Carlton. I think it's, it's nice for the community, especially since the horses, you know, he was trained down here and, and, and broke down the, or broke the race here. And uh, just really nice for, for the community. And Perfect World Enterprises, the owners, and uh, Nat Vardy, the trainer, talk a bit about these connections. Well, I, I kind of hooked up with these guys about uh, be going all close to about, I'd say, a year now and uh, had nothing but luck with them. The first time I drove for them, I drove a horse in the Breeders' Crown and he won. So, I mean, it's just been a, a heck of a ride for me and uh, I can't say enough about Nat Vardy. He's uh, definitely one of the, the best uh, young trainers in the sport today. When you picked up a program and looked at your competition tonight, did you feel you had a shot to win one and did you feel you had a shot at the world record too? Um, as far as the world record went, I, I knew it'd have to be a really, really fast pace in front of me, and uh, you know, you never know what's going to happen as far as that goes. But I thought, in order to, to really have a chance in here, I couldn't get too far back, and we got real lucky leaving out of there. Was a, there was a hole going into the first turn, and we backed into it. So you got to be lucky in this game, and we were tonight. Chris, you got to be lucky, and you got to be good. And good you are. Three winners tonight at Rideau Carlton, and this one was absolutely amazing. Eyes of North America were on us tonight. We were on TRN. Uh, satellite broadcast all across North America. We're on Sports Radio 1200, the team here in Ottawa. Thank you so much for coming to Rito Carlton Raceway. You're a fan favorite, and you put on a tremendous show tonight. Thanks a lot. Uh, it was great being here, and I hope I can come back real soon. Look forward to seeing you. Chris Christopher, winning driver. Let's have a round of applause for Chris. Brilliant drive, 149-4, and four, world record on a 5-8 track. Mutuals in the ninth race, 1A, part of the entry, Dan Life, returns $4.30, 220 and 210 to show. Number two, Noble Ability was second, 290 and 260. Three red bow tie was third, 260. The 1-2 exact door, $11.10. The tri-act combination on race nine tonight, 1, 2, and 3, the combination returns $4.30.